Okay, so uh, preceding this, we did a quick uh, sort of a chord, some basic moves to your major chords, and we learned one minor shape. Um, so in the tune Ain't Misbehaving, you could drill a lot of these uh, ideas. Um, let's just try it, okay? Let's see how far we get. It's a good one to learn. So I'll focus on this here. I, uh, there's so many good versions of this song. The Django Reinhardt and Stefan Grappelli's Hot Club of France version is uh, maybe is a little faster. Hello there. Is uh, a little on the bright side. Um, they don't sing it, and uh, but they sure play fantastic. I don't remember. Uh, a lot of people um, use different kinds of chord changes on this. It's, it's a good vehicle for using different... Uh, chords to cover the same types of harmony, make it more involved or not. Um, so the one I will show as a lesson will be sort of medium. It, it has more movement than is necessary, but it's fun and it works. Um, so uh, I could recommend uh, Jack Teagarden. I'm not sure he might have been with Benny Goodman, but he might have just been by his own orchestra. Uh, Louis Armstrong did this song more than once. Um, there's some spectacular version of Louis Armstrong doing this um, late 1940s, maybe 1947. <laughs> Sorry, but there's so many versions I want to pick the year so you can figure out which version I'm talking about. Anyhow, it has Bobby Hackett playing the cornet like a trumpet. Can you imagine being uh, admired by Louis Armstrong on your cornet so much he wants you in the band and lets you take the solo? I don't think he plays the intro, but anyway, getting carried away. It's fun to get carried away. Uh, so we'll do Ain't Misbehaving. We'll do it in B-flat and then E-flat. So we kind of exercise the same song with two sets. A lot of the same chord shapes, but in different places doing different things, which is a good way to drill it. That was a lot of talking there. We're already two minutes into this thing. Here we go. Uh, that's basically... I'll, I'm gonna do it once, and then uh, I'll do it. I'll do it once, and then I'll do it once, kind of a little bit slow. You can use the YouTube to uh, device to slow it down and just learn it. And then I'll do a version where I say what everything is, because I'm gonna talk myself hoarse here and drive you nuts. Two, a one. I'm gonna go real slow. Three. So I did, so it's, uh, there's a form, there's a, people use language um, to explain the, the shape of a song to help each other communicate how it's going to work out. I don't know if I said that as clearly as I'd like. So A, A, B, A, in other words, it's typically, not always, but typically eight measures of something is an A, and the next A is almost the same, so they just say A, A. So that covers 16 measures of the tune. And they say B because that's typically the bridge or the, some people in rock and roll call it a chorus. It's, it's you know, the other part of the tune. And that's another eight measures, but of a slightly different chord progression. And then it returns to where it began for another eight. And 
in 32 bars is what your typical old-fashioned pop tune would have been before it just repeated or went into an entirely different part. That's super generalizing, but A-A-B-A. -A. So, of the three times, of the three A's that I went up the neck, I changed a little bit how I got to the end. So let me explain what the chords are first so we can keep track of where the changes are. Here's the B flat, right? B diminished. C minor. You can do this too if you want. C sharp diminished. Now it's B flat again. I put the third in the bass. And this is this next two beats is where I did it differently each time. The first time I dropped down to what we or most most people are comfortable with B flat seven like that. The second time, I can't honestly remember if I did that, maybe, which is another B flat seven with the fifth, third, seven, and a nine on top. You don't really need that. Like, same with, looks like that minor we talked about in the other video. But. And the other one I did was, this looks a lot thing, the same, but it's totally different. That's a B flat seven as well. The flat seven is the lowest note in the chord. There's the third, the fifth, and the root on top. This is an excellent chord to learn the shape of. Very awkward at first for many people. I shouldn't say that. I don't want to taint the, uh, the job ahead, but learn that shape. You're going to be very happy you did. This one too. My children are having a disagreement in the background. Anyway, um, so let me just do that again. What's nice about this is very quick, easily, this note here, but played like this, that's your E flat or your four chord. And this is the third in the bass. Here's the E flat. There's the third in the bass. What do you do to make a minor? And in this song, the next chord is a minor. You flat the third. This pointing finger which gets lost in the video is on the B string. And B flat again. So this happened. And the next chord is a G7, or some people say six, one, six, two, five, or in this case, B flat, G, C7, F7. So this is what we do. The first time, right? The second, let's just leave it alone at that. There's a lot, any G would have worked. G, the fifth in the bass, or this is B flat, this is G with the third in the bass. There's your C, F. Now, let me just do that to summarize right up to there, okay? So here we go. This song, between the A's, A A B A is the structure of the song, the, the architecture, the layout, the map of the tune. It has a little turnaround between the A's so that you recognize uh, that another A is about to start or one is finished. And it goes like this D7. That's a pretty rudimentary version, which is great. The back. And what that equals is three, six, two, five, or D, G, C, F. And then you do the A parts again. Now it gets confusing with this language because you're calling A parts and B parts. Those are not the letter names of any chords. Uh, it's, you, they use Roman numerals when they write that stuff out to differentiate. Anyhow, here we go. I'm going to go all the way to the bridge this time. One, two, three, The second A, see, so you have that the, the, the B flat to G, the C to F, B flat, B flat 
flat seven, E flat, E flat minor, B flat. Uh, one, two, sorry, and then D seven. And the D seven sets up the bridge. The bridge is G minor. Here we go. One, two. Uh, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. The, the chord way is this, G. G minor, I should say, sorry, G minor. E flat seven, C seven, G seven. Now drop down a half, a whole step, F major and climb. And it's F seven, but instead of going back to this one, I'm gonna slide up for drama's sake. C minor seven, F seven. You could just play F7 if you wanted to. The last A part coming up. Three, four. I keep doing this. This might be flat also. I like this one. But you could have done this or this. Anything. I've just got a third in the bass here. It's, but it's a B flat. G, C. B flat, B flat 7. E flat, E flat minor. B flat, F, B flat. Okay, I'm going to do one kind of uh, in tempo and sing, it al sing along with it a little bit. One, uh, two, one, uh, one, two, three, No one to talk with all by myself. No one to walk with, I'm happy on the shelf. And this babe, saving my love for you, for you. I know for certain, the one to love. Flirting is just you I'm thinking of And it's behaving, saving my love for you Like Jack Horner, in a corner Don't go nowhere, and I don't care All your kisses are worth waiting for So really quick, because this is already taking longer than I thought it would, always does, I'll look at E flat, okay? So all the, if you were to write this, no, well, let me just say, all the majors and the sevenths and the diminished, etc., they all can be in the same place, but they're going to have new letter names, new fingerings. So here is E flat major. We like to use this, and I put the fifth in the bass. It looks like C minor kind of here, and it, technically it's an E flat major six. So here's your E flat. So this is the line that we hear in the tune is E flat, climb to an E diminished, F minor, F sharp diminished, another E flat with the third in the bass, but played as E flat seven, and then over uh, uh, it's a four chord. So I guess. <laughs> well, I got myself in the corner there. Let me just start playing it. E flat. E diminished. F minor 7, or F minor. F sharp diminished. Uh, so many ways to do it. I'm just going to E flat. Let's go up here, E flat 9. That kind of exercises some new moves, and you should... It gets a little choked in rhythm, playing up this close to the 12th fret, but just go for it. A flat, which I'm going to almost always put the fifth in the bass, right? Then diminished, ah, uh, sorry, minor. This is A flat minor coming up. It's an A flat minor 6 to be technically perfectly right there. Let's go E flat major like this with a third in the bass. There's C7. F7. B flat 7. 3, 6, 2, 5. And if it's an E flat, G7. C7. F7. B flat. 
Try again with, here we go, second A part, E flat. Climb, diminished, E diminished, F minor. F sharp diminished, E flat major, E flat nine. A flat major, A flat minor six. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. E flat, then the G7. Bridge, C minor. Like Jack Corner. A flat 7. In a corner, F7. Don't come nowhere, C7. And I don't care. And you can play these you know, like this. I don't know why I chose that one. Uh, and then you drop down, beat to B flat, a, a whole step below this last chord here, and climb. So B flat. Climb, C minor, F7, B flat 7. And I like these kind of runs with the third in it. So, right, so this is B flat 7. This stuff goes by so fast you hardly want to give it a name, but technically, B flat 7, F minor, uh, C sharp diminished, uh, B flat major with the third. So I'm just going to play the bridge one time, see what it sounds like. Here we go. Right. So E flat. Here's the bridge. C minor. Light your corner. In the corner. Don't go nowhere. And don't care. Uh, that's just nice. All your kisses are worth waiting for. Leave me. Don't stay out late. Don't care to go home. Oh, sorry. Home oh, about it. Just me and my radio. Ain't misbehaving. Sorry, my C flat. Say misbehaving. Saving my love for you. All right. And now you would know it in two keys. And uh, the world is your oyster. Thanks for checking it out.